Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all okay. Uh, welcome. The case that we're covering this week is one that has been requested loads. It, it's literally up there with a case that everyone wants me to cover. It's a situation that is quite close to home for somebody like me who works in TV, who works with production crews and who has been on set, on location with people who aren't necessarily my friends. I want to get into it, there is no time to waste, we don't have long, Yinka gives herself 10 minutes at the most with these videos and I want to talk about Terence Woods. So welcome to the anniversary. It has been two years since he was last seen while on location as part of a production crew filming in Idaho. The circumstances surrounding Terence Woods' disappearance are a bit mad, to put it politely. The seemingly lack of investigation or care shown by the production company in the two years that he was last seen is frustrating to say the least. I'm going to tell you what we know about his case. The case of Terence Woods, who was 27 at the time of his disappearance. He was last seen on the 5th of October 2018. And this is what we know happened. Terence Woods Jr. was a documentary filmmaker. And whilst he was originally from America, he actually spent quite a bit of time in London. He lived here. He was on the production team of The Voice UK and he was doing pretty well, had a promising career in his field of work. He was part of a film crew that was going to a remote location in Idaho, in America, to work on a film production. He was part of the London production company Raw, and they were working on a series called Gold Rush, which was about the abandoned gold mines and caves in this remote area. Raw was a UK offshoot of the Discovery Channel, and there were about a dozen people who were on this trip. It was a freelance trip, um, even though some of the people knew each other, everyone didn't work together every single day. I kind of understand this because what happens is that you'll be employed to do a film or a series and you'll work really intensely with a group of people and then maybe you'll see them on other jobs but it's not like a typical work environment. Although I have made quite a few friends in this, this way anyway. When they got to Idaho, they had guides to help them navigate the local area. It was a super remote place. The nearest town only has a population of like just over 200 people. They were filming in this area and that was supposed to take about two weeks. There were loads of caves, there were loads of abandoned buildings, half-built huts, there were woods, there were steep drops and it was super easy to get lost and also the weather was pretty volatile as well. Just days before Terence went missing, he texted his dad saying that there was a change of plan, that he was leaving early. He didn't give a reason for this, but he had never cut a work trip short before. And because of what happens next, because of the fact that he goes missing, this now is a red flag to the Woods family. On the day that he went missing, Friday, October 5th, 2018. The crew did say in hindsight that he was uncharacteristically quiet, but that wasn't anything that they noted at the time. They had just completed a day of filming. It was around 5.30 and they were in one of the abandoned cave mine things. This is what the crew told the police. Terence was standing there one moment and all of a sudden he takes off into the woods and he runs. He dropped his radio and he ran. This was about 5.30. It was just about to get dark. They were packing up. They were ready to leave for the day and the crew went looking for him. They searched for about an hour. They drove. They called his name and they got in touch with the sheriff's office once they were able to get a phone signal. Of course, they were in the mountains so there wasn't much uh, phone signal. The call came in at about 6.41 p.m., so just over an hour after Terence went missing. When the police got there, they began searching, they began looking, but the weather didn't allow them to do much. For a few days, they did conduct extensive searches of the area. Aerial searches, um, heat mapping, dogs, cars, people on foot. They looked, no avail, and they stopped. Terence has never been seen again. There has been no word, no whisper, no evidence, nothing. Terence Woods has disappeared. His father and sister do have their own opinion. Some of the stories from the film crew at best don't make much sense. One member of the team said that Terence jumped off a cliff, the other called it a steep hill, and his dad just isn't buying it. At 8.34, my son texted me back. Said, Dad, I'm coming home on Wednesday. 
10th. Between that little time, something went wrong. Then the next call I get is from the company saying my son disappeared. I can't find a trace of him. They said that they watched my son run off the cliff. What do you mean you all watched him? What do you mean you watched him? What are you saying? None of you would ask my son 130 pounds soaking wet. These guys are big like me, and you're gonna say, you watch this little guy go to kill himself or whatever you're trying to put out there. Come on, man. And they haven't found a body. They haven't found, they haven't found a trace of nothing. Even the most believable version that he dropped his radio and started running can physically happen. Yes, I mean, I could just drop my phone right now and run off and you guys may never see me again. But why? He went over to the edge and there were several people watching him, including one of the local guys. And they said he just decided to take off and he shot down that hill. Crew members tried to go after Woods, but weren't able to find him. And he would not stop. He would not return. And he just kept going and they lost him at the... There's a road down below where he dropped straight down the hill, almost straight down. But his sister, Sharnia Tisdale, says what Idaho County police are reporting is completely out of character for her younger brother. He's not the type of person that would just run off or do anything like that, so it seems unusual. Apparently there was nothing wrong and he had no history of any mental health problems, so why would he disappear? His family thinks something happened to him. They believe that the reason they haven't been able to find Terrence is that there was no sign of him in the woods, in the caves, in the houses that are abandoned whatsoever, is simply because Terrence wasn't there. The police said that they talked to the film crew and they think that it's unlikely that 11 people would agree to keep a secret and keep it so well. They hinge on the fact that the people in the production crew were freelancers, they weren't solid work friends, they didn't have a solid base of friendship and they don't think there was any foul play there. Terence's family have said that the TV production company basically ignore them and that's where the story apparently of Terence Woods ends. There are so many theories online, there are so many at home detectives, sleuths thinking that they know what happened to Terence Woods. There were remains found last year, a year after Terence was last seen, but no identification has been made on those skeletal remains that were found in Whitebird, Idaho, which is an hour away from where Terence went missing. We're still yet to see if those remains belong to Terence. I think even with telling this story and even with researching this story, all of the links, of course, are in the description box. It's just that, like, there are more questions than answers when it comes to Terence Woods. People speculate that there may have been an accident on set and the crew covered it up. People think that Terence may have been being bullied or he may have seen something that he wasn't meant to see and somebody eliminated him. Part of me does feel like there is more to the Terence Woods story, that there is more to what happened to him because why would you make plans to go home to go see your family and then apparently commit suicide? What do you think happened to Terence Woods? There have been stories of people going missing in woods and being found years later having just wanted to remove themselves from society, but how likely is that really? If it was an accident, why haven't they found him? Even if you do something to yourself, if you commit suicide, if you harm yourself, it's impossible to hide your own body. Do you think anything happened on set? Do you think there was an accident? Do you think that 11 people could come up with a story, concoct a cover up, and then keep it going for the last two years. Please let me know by dropping a comment in the box and telling me your thoughts on this story. I know that there isn't that much information, but I have researched this for a week and legit what I've given you is what I found. Of course, all of the links are in the description box, so take advantage of them. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think.